afternoon children welcome to online class session 26 previous class we discussed about distribution of rainfall natural vegetation and its different types today we are going to learn about wildlife and biosphere reserves india is a home of large variety of animals it is a biodiversity hotspot with its various ecosystems. The term wildlife includes animals of any habitat in nature. Wild animals are non-domesticated animals and include both vertebrates and invertebrates. Vertebrates, fish, amphibians, reptiles, birds and mammals. Invertebrates, bees, butterflies, moths, etc. And India has a rich and diversified wildlife. The Indian fauna consists of about 81,251 species of animals out of the world's total of about 1.5 million species. The faunal diversity of the country consists of about 6,500 invertebrates, 2,546 fishes, 1,228 birds, 458 mammals, 446 reptiles, 204 amphibians, 4 panthers and about 60,000 species of insects. Our country is a home of tigers, lions, leopards, snow leopards, pythons, wolves, foxes, bears, crocodiles, rhinoceros, camels, wild dogs, monkeys, snakes, antelope, deer species, variety of bison and the mighty Asian elephant. Hunting poaching, deforestation and other anthropogenetic interference in the natural habitats have caused extinction of some species and many are facing the danger of extinction. In view of this, the role of wildlife in maintaining ecological balance, cons conservation, and management of biodiversity of India is necessary at present situation. The Indian Board for Wildlife was constituted in 1952 to suggest means of protection, conservation and management of wildlife to the government. The Government of India enacted Wildlife Protection Act in 1972 with the objective of effectively protecting the wildlife of the country and to control poaching, smuggling and illegal trade in wildlife and its diversities. United Nations Convention on Biological Diversity in 1992 recognized the sovereign rights of states to use their own biological resources. To preserve the country's rich and diverse wildlife, a network of 102 national parks and about 550 wildlife sanctuaries across the country have been created. The Nilgri Thar is facing a major threat in the Western Ghats. Continuous poaching activities and eucalyptus cultivation hampering its habitat, the Nilgrita population is continuously decreasing. The black buck is the state animal of Andhra Pradesh, Haryana and Punjab. Next we go going to discuss about biosphere reserves. Biosphere reserves are protected areas of land coastal environment wherein people are an inti integral component of the system. The Indian government has established 
18 biosphere reserves in India which protect larger areas of natural habitat and often include one or more national park preserve along with buffer zone that are open to some economic uses. There are 18 biosphere reserves in India. Out of 18, 11 is very important. Gulf of Mannar, Nanda Devi, the Nilgiris, Nokrak, Pachmargi, Simlipal, Sundarbans, Agastya Malai, Great Nicobar, Kanjan Janga and Amar Gantak. India fall under the list of Man and Biosphere Program of UNESCO. Next, we see the Project Tiger. Project Tiger was launched in April 1973 with the aim to conserve tiger population in specifically constituted tiger reserves in India. This project is benefited tremendously with an increase of over 60% in the year 1979. Consensus put population at 3015 while other equally disturbed species like Barasinka that is swamp deer, rhino and elephants also fought back from the brink of oblivion. So, Project Tiger was launched in the year 1973 which was conserving the, conserve the tiger population in India. So, the biosphere reserves protect our wildlife animals. That's all for today's class. Thank you children.